मुझको इतना बता दे कोई कैसे तुझसे Hey foodies, it's me Sharon and welcome back to another episode of Fork Yeah, the series where I go around eating my way through some of the best restaurants and letting you know what I think about them. As you know, I've tried a lot of different foods on People vs. Food, but unfortunately, it usually stops there. Today, for the first time, I'm eating at an Indian food restaurant. I'm here at Arth in downtown Culver City. I got my backpack full of shareware and we're going to go check it out. Located in the heart of downtown Culver City sits Arth Bar and Kitchen. It's an urban Indian inspired restaurant and cocktail bar that serves Indian inspired cocktails and a modern interpretation of regional Indian cuisine. One of the things I like best about Arth is how it came about. Mahir Lad always wanted to have a restaurant, but he did the right thing and he went to school and he got a degree in engineering and in fact became an engineer. But he still had that seed in his mind that he always wanted to have a restaurant. Well, he made a couple contacts and through a lot of hard work, finally in 2021, his dream to own a restaurant happened. I have to tell you, first time in an Indian restaurant. And my knowledge of Indian food pretty much starts and stops with naan bread. And so this is where you make your naan bread? Oh, the naan bread, yeah. This one for the appetizers, the, uh, this one the clay oven. So traditionally we use the coal for this one in India, but Chocolate. here. Oh, okay. But here Chocolate. we use the gas. Oh, so okay. We make the naans and the appetizers over here. Okay, you make them naans and appetizers over here. But it's originally was charcoal and yeah, you use gas. Okay. We use charcoal. It's not hard. I mean, charcoal is really hard to be, you know, and it's very yeah. easy. <laughs> All the lights and Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I would imagine that. Thank you for letting me back here to see a little bit of the... No more dance, nothing? No. Oh, please, absolutely. <laughs> go! Go! So actually, I do. <laughs> Shall I sing? Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, this is an Indian music. It's actually uh, sung by Arjit Singh, one of the best uh, male vocalists in India. Okay. He actually sang the song. And okay, a couple of lines. Mujhko itna bata de koi kaise tujhe se dil na lagaye tujhe rabbane mujhko banane me. ਰਦੀ <laughs> I mean, if this is not the absolute best experience, thank you so much. I'm already loving this place. Well, so far, my experience, my first experience in an Indian restaurant, knocking it out of the park, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I'm really sure. looking thank forward you. to trying your food, thank so you thank so you. I am just going to let them tell me what to do, what to eat, what to drink. I've told them what I don't like, which is eggplant. I can't eat eggplant. Uh, and I told them that my spicy level is way low. Um, and the first drink that they said to give me was a lychee martini. So, yum, yum. Our very gracious bartender, Riley, was telling me what's in this. It's got a lychee fruit, which is this, a lychee liqueur, vodka, and elderberry liqueur. Big fan, man, let me tell you. Okay, here comes my first dish. Okay, this is the tandoori shrimp. Tandoori shrimp. Okay. Oh, that one is going to be the spiciest. Riley is my guide through this whole experience, I think, and she just let me know this is going to be the spiciest. So watch out. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to go for it. Can I eat these tails? No, don't eat those. Should I eat it like like a shrimp, right? She's like, I don't know how you eat. You don't know how to eat? She's like, I understand you don't know how, what I Indian food? <laughs> she says, I just dropped the food off, you moron. <laughs> Your mom should have taught you how to eat. Oh, there's the spice. It's got a sweet 
taste to it. There's so many flavors in this that I can't describe because I've never had them before. I want to say there's like a little bit of a sweetness to it. The spice does come in. It, it kind of a, is a caboose to this whole flavoring thing. So it, it gets you in the end. Like right now it's starting to spice me up. You know, it feels like a warm fall day because it's like er, an earthy taste to it. Um, but the spice, like I said, you know, it comes in at the end and it really sets everything off. That spice explodes the flavor of everything that I've just eaten. And now I, for the very first time, I understand why people like spicy food. That is so good, Riley. Okay, this is the signature butter chicken. It's one of our most popular dishes. This is garlic naan and this is cumin cilantro rice. Cumin cilantro rice, great, okay. Sometimes they like pour the sauce onto the bread and the rice onto the bread and do it all too. It's very playful. See how Riley, like two seconds ago, was like, I just drop off the food and now all of a sudden she's like, let me tell you how to eat this. <laughs> See what happens? Riley all of a sudden was like, now I'm a helper. Now I gotta try this. That's heavenly. Okay. Wanna taste the rice first? Mmm. What kind of rice is this? Basmami. Basmami rice. So it's got basmami rice. <laughs> and this is butter chicken. There's a lot of earthy flavor in this as well. Let me tell you, on a cold day, Indian food is the best, isn't it? Oh, wow. Now to me, this has a tiny, tiny bit of spice kick to it, but because it is so tiny, it doesn't like bother me at all. So now I'm gonna try the rice and the butter chicken together. Oh, it changes everything. It absolutely changes everything with that cilantro. And now, Riley's suggestion, just go all in for the whole kit and caboodle. Oh yeah, that's the way to eat it. I would come back for this meal right here. Per Nicole, she has said to me, you know, when I haven't, when I've tried foods on people versus food, and I'm like, yeah, I've never had that before. And it's like, would you go to an Indian restaurant? I really have been intimidated to go to different restaurants because again, I don't know what to order. But I will say everybody is just so excited to share their culture. I mean, we saw that in the kitchen, right? I think people just kind of get excited to share different foods. It's just do it, get out of your comfort zone and, and go try these foods. So what are these called? The samosas. 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 Yes, and they have a green chutney and a tamarind sauce on them. Green chutney and a tamarind sauce. And what fabulousness did you just bring me? The prem kahani. Prim Kahani. It means love story. Riley, is there something you needed to tell me? She's like, no. Is this a finger food or a cut it open food? Most people use a fork and a knife. Most people who aren't Neanderthals will actually cut it open. That's what she wanted to say. See? Mmm. But it's got chutney and tamarind. Come on, guys. It's so flavorful. Again, it has kind of those earthy tones and I don't know which sauce it is that is adding a little bit of a sweetness to it. It is so freaking good. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Oh, look how good you are. Riley walks in and says, I'm just bringing the food. And now look, she is hooking me up. I wanna taste just a little bit of each one. Well, let me tell you, I am a huge fan of tamarind now. That is so good. Mm, the chutney has a little, it's got a little kick to it. I do love this. You are really holding my hand. I am going in for the chicken. And this is Riley's favorite on the menu, mint chicken tikka. All right, here we go. I see why this is your favorite. It builds up. What I'm noticing in, in this, when I was back talking to the guys in the kitchen, they were saying like, you know, we have all of these spices. And again, I'm, it, it, there's so much flavor in this. A lot of times if I go out and I order a chicken dish, it tastes like chicken with something on it, like chicken with teriyaki on it or chicken with whatever. The chicken taste in this is such an afterthought because there's so much other spices and other tastes that, that are coming in. And as Riley said, it's like, you know, that spice is kind of the caboose that comes in and explodes the flavor in your mouth. And then again, you mix it with the rice and it changes everything. Fork yeah, baby. This is, look at, I just, I got a little bit of rice, got a little bit of the chicken. I mean, seriously, my life has been changed here today. 
is the gulab juman. Gulab juman. And it has arth. What's that say? You don't know what it says. Really good. Way to go, Riley. Riley, this is your job. We're not asking a lot, except for you to walk us through this entire experience. Arth memories. I'm so excited to try this. It's so simple. It's just fried dough ball that is spiced or sweetened up with, oh, like syrup. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like syrup, like maple. But then with the pistachios, it's got the consistency of a Sunday morning pancake breakfast. But then you add in that nice pop and earthiness again of the pistachios, and it really rounds out the whole thing. And then the Arth Memories. Uh, that is so cute. Well, I gotta say, my experience here was beyond my expectation, far beyond my expectation. Staff, I mean, give me a break. From the guys in the kitchen giving us a little concert to Riley, who's like, I'm just bringing the food to actually holding my hand through this whole experience. It's just been such a wonderful adventure for my first time eating at an Indian restaurant. The only thing I feel that I am worried about is that Arth really set the bar high. If you're in the Culver City area, you've got to come down here. If you like Indian food, you're gonna love this place. If you've never eaten Indian food, let them know, they will walk you through. Um, but yeah, this has just absolutely been like 18 thumbs up. There's nothing else to do except to tell you to like, subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss an episode. Let me know in the comments what other food you think I should try. Uh, I haven't tried a lot, so anything you say is probably one I haven't tried. Till next time, I will see you next Tuesday. You know what, I'm going into this. This is my favorite.